I'm Joni from Twinkle and today I'm going to tell you all about our early years Halloween resources. Let's look at this Halloween sensory tray activity which can be used alongside the missing numbers worksheet. Print out the worksheet and help your child to fill in the missing numbers and then cut them out. Now print and cut out the pictures included with the sensory tray activity. Gather the pictures and numbers and any other Halloween bits and pieces you want to use, some tweezers, a large bowl and some lentils. Pour the lentils into the bowl and add your Halloween things. Your child will love exploring the feeling of what's inside the bowl. Encourage them to stir and scoop the lentils with their hands. Search for the Halloween items, counting them and lining them up against the number cards. Put everything back in, including the Halloween picture cards. Now your child can use their hands or the tweezers to search for and pull out the picture cards. Tweezers are great for developing fine motor skills. Now let's look at the large activity tray resource alongside the mark making cards. For a really gloopy activity you'll need some water, corn flour, food colouring, spoon, knife, a stick, tray, kitchen roll and the mark making cards. Pour the corn flour into the tray and add in some water. Encourage your child to explore mixing the water into the corn flour. It makes a very strange texture. Talk together about how it changes from solid to liquid and back again and add in some green Halloween colour. Encourage your child to scoop and drip the mixture with the utensils and with their hands too. It can get messy but it's a lot of fun. Talk to your child about what the mixture feels like in their hands. See if your child can copy some of the patterns on the mark making cards. What happens to the patterns? Where do they go? Let's look at this Halloween cutting skills activity. Help your child to cut out the Halloween pictures, being careful with the scissors and developing a good technique. Cutting really improves fine motor skills. Once your child has cut out the pictures, perhaps you could use them to make a Halloween card. Sticking down the pictures, adding some writing, why not use the mark making cards to add some spooky patterns? You could also use the cut out pictures to make some Halloween puppets. After carefully cutting them out, stick some lolly sticks on the back and you're ready to play. For some Halloween phonics fun, try this CVC cut and stick activity. Print out the sheet and cut up the letters. Now add some glue and help your child to find the right letters to make the word. At bat. Your child could write it at hat. Or you could put some of the letters on and they have to write the missing one. Or find it and glue it on. I love these Halloween Play Doh mats. You can print them out or look at the pictures on the screen. You could draw your own spider's web on a piece of paper. And then your child could make a Play Doh spider to add to the web. Squishing and rolling Play-Doh helps your child to develop hand strength, which they will need for writing. Count the legs. Have you got eight? Why not add some googly eyes? Have fun with Twinkle's Halloween resources and we'll see you soon.